Hello everyone, I am back. I'd like to thank everyone that sent me their good wishes during a, a bout of ill health, which included having part of my tongue reconstructed. And I'm going to be holding, attempting to call as auctioneer part of our Cheshire Stamp Auctions public auction um, on uh, Friday the 19th of May. That's the catalogue and I was uh, walking past uh, our busy viewing room and realised we had some rather nice Great Britain line engraved stamps uh, which um, I'm going to just pop a few of the lots under the camera and uh, just to let you see the sort of thing we have and uh, well thanks for joining me anyway so here we go here's uh, Penny Black Happens to be lot 981. It's uh, position A, A, which you can see shows abnormally large margins on the left and the top, uh, indicative of, um, of it being from the top left corner of the sheet. Very attractive individual stamp there. The next lot is lot 985. It's another very attractive penny black. I'll tell you what I like about it when I put it under the camera. Now that's a stamp from plate 1B. The first plate 1A wore out and had to be recut and you can see it's got four large very well balanced margins and a corner strike only of a red Maltese cross which leaves face profile clear which is absolutely super so I hope you like that as much as I do here we have lot 987 now as you can see this is a penny black on the cover what's cool about it is it has ship letter Liverpool the rest of the strikes on the other side we've opened that up so you can see it and lot 987 was from Belfast. So although at the time uh, the post office was obviously the British post office, the rules were mail coming in across the Irish Sea uh, into uh, uh, England had to show a ship letter mark. So that's very unusual with a penny black on cover. Here we have lot 998 and it's very unusual because it's a 1841 penny red but as you can see it's on a piece tied by a green cancel and in the same ink a complete fancy too late hand stamp very unusual item. It's a 1844 type numeral cancel here and uh, clearly extremely odd uh, to have it with something in the matching ink alongside just to be sure to be sure. It also comes along with a Brandon certificate. Now here we have lot 1017 which is almost the perfect item for collectors of the 1841 issue because as you can see it's an individual cover with a pair here of the penny red and the tutney blue from 1841 both of them with four margins you really don't see that as a franking very often and you particularly don't see it with a franking very often with, it, with both stamps having four margins. We think that's really cool um, and I uh, hope you do too. I'm going to zoom in on those two stamps. There we go. Super. Finally, or almost finally, there's a lot over here I'm really keen on looking at. Um, it's lot 1025 which is the famous Penny red imperf but with the treasury roulette and it comes along with a BPA certificate so I shall pop that 
under the camera now and there it is with the distinctive very unusual wavy roulette known as the treasury roulette this particular stamp is from the correct plate 164 and has the BPA expertising limited certificate with it um, so we think that uh, anyone who's trying to build a a specialised collection uh, they really need that particular stamp in their album um, however I did mention there's one other lot oh it's really great and I'm hoping that nobody else bids on it it's lot 24 and it's James Bond cars anyway whichever lot you like leave a comment below <laughs>